ever have those days where you're trying to look inside of a mirror in your bathroom, but you just don't have one, and so you buy one, and the goddamn clips don't even fit on the door? Well, try printing out nearly identical clips with slightly more depth, and, or buying them from me rather, because I make them and I sell them, I don't install them, however, I will ship them to you for a fee. Then you can do this yourself, and uh, you're gonna look good. Damn it. Did you forget that you don't have a lock on your door? Well, hack number two is you can buy my lock from me. So I just print them out real quick, I situate them on the table, glue them up, and install. Yeah, that looks good. Do you have like really messy roommates and your toilet seat's too gross to touch? Is that peanut butter? For this hack, you're gonna need a toilet seat, your printed parts, and double-sided VHB foam tape. I got my tape from my dad, but I looked it up and you can pick them up on the McMaster Car website at 72 yards for $256. Once you have your print, tear off a 3 inch piece of tape and stick it on the flange. Remove the film and install your permanent pieces of plastic. Voila! Do you need a toilet lid holder that you can see at night? Well, buy my product and they'll glow in the dark. Do you often find yourself very clumsy and dropping your face wash? For this hack you're going to need a screwdriver, calipers, and suction cups. Pop off the top of your face wash and take detailed measurements. Take more measurements of your suction cup and reverse engineer them into CAD. Create an assembly and see how it all fits. Once you have your model, you can begin 3D printing. However, if you don't have access to these tools and your face wash is under 0.44 pounds and has a cap that is 1.88 inches in diameter and a center of mass lower than 2.755 inches, you can buy my product instead. Insert your face wash into your newly printed holding device and snap the cap in place. Looks good. This can be useful if you're really clumsy or only have one arm. If you're still dropping things, or maybe you just don't like that white stuff that builds up at the bottom of your toothbrush when you put it in those jars, I have this hack for you, a toothbrush shelf. Thanks for watching. Please visit my website where you can buy the items created in this video or hire me for designs, drawings, 3D models, prints, and prototypes.